Hi everybody. Before we go any further, we need to prepare your development environment for the VPF. And don't worry, we just need to download and install Visual Studio to access VPF Designer. And don't confuse Visual Studio with Visual Studio Code. These are two different applications for different purposes. Visual Studio is fully featured ID, primarily used for large-scale complex application development, while Visual Studio Code is a lightweight ID. So let's go and install Visual Studio, and I also need to show you which packages to download inside of it. So let's begin. First of all, we're going to go to our browser and we're going to search for Visual Studio and write download. Then look for the website from the Microsoft where it says download Visual Studio tools. In here, you have different options and you are interested in the community because this is the free version of Visual Studio and click on that one. And while it's downloading, also pay attention here that I'm downloading Visual Studio 2022 because this ID doesn't come out every single year. It comes out once a couple of years, so this is totally normal. Now we download the installer, let's open it and we will have to select what we want to install. Right here, I'm going to click on continue and now you need to wait a little. Then you will see this menu and in here we need to select kind of which packages we want to download because it depends on what we want to do. You'll notice here there are different frameworks, there's Python development, ISP, Azure, .NET desktop application and so on, so on, so on. In here, we're interested in this one, .NET Desktop Development, because you'll notice right there, there is Build, VPF, Windows Forms, and some other things. Let's click on that one. In here, you will also be able to select something optional, but in your case, I'm more than sure that you don't have to do that. And also in here, we could install Python development, but I'm not gonna do that, because this is made specifically for Django and Flask and maybe some other frameworks, but it's not really made for the VPF. Now, I think I have everything that I need. I'm going to click here and we're going to select install while downloading and click on install. And it's going to take a while because as you've seen, we need to download seven gigabytes. And also many of you might be wondering why I'm not selecting the Python development. And you see, you, we used to be able to create this Visual Studio VPF designer forms for Iron Python. And then we would create our front end and then we could also make the back end inside Visual Studio. But it was available, I think up to 2017 or 19 in Visual Studio. And then they stopped support of Iron Python 2.7 or all versions of Iron Python in general. Therefore, we're going to get the latest version of Visual Studio Community, so we don't have to kind of worry about all that. I will be using it for just writing the XAML, and then we're going to write our Iron Python scripts in Visual Studio Code or in the PyCharm as usual. It's going to be a little bit less convenient, but don't worry, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know in the upcoming lessons. And now let's just wait until it finishes downloading and installing the Visual Studio. All right, we're done with installation. It also recommends us to restart computer, but I think I'm going to do it later. Now we can launch it either from here or just look for the Visual Studio. And notice that Visual Studio Code, it has the blue icon, but the real Visual Studio it has this kind of purple icon. And this is what we need. Let's click on that one and open it up. And I'm not going to log in into any accounts. I'm definitely going to select the dark theme. I'm going to start Visual Studio. All right, now it has opened up. It might look a bit different at your computer if you opened it for the first time. As you can see, I already have here some history with other files that I can open because I was using Visual Studio before this lesson. Now, we wanna click here on create new project and you'll get a lot of different templates for different workflows. Then in here, let's search for the VPF and you'll see there are a lot of different options and you might even get lost here. So you might think that we need this VPF application, but have a look, it has C-sharp, Windows and desktop. And what you need instead, if you're going to scroll down, sooner or later, you will see this VPF app. And it has the .NET framework in the parentheses. And here you can see C-sharp, XAML, Windows, and desktop. We can also sort of sort it here by languages and make only XAML. And this way, you can only see now VPF app, .NET framework. And this is what you want to select. And listen, it used to be possible to make this VPF application template for R and Python as well. But Visual Studio has stopped supporting it, I think, from 2017 or 2019. And now it's a bit of a hassle to make it work. And in the end of the day, it's not really worth it, at least for me. The way I do this is I'm going to create any project, so I just access the XAML designer. So I can write my code and have the live preview right away. Then I'm going to take all the code and paste it in my Parevit tool in the same folder. And then I'm just going to open my Python script with PyCharm or Visual Studio Code, whatever you prefer. And then I'm going to write the code to connect my front end with the back end. And this is what I will teach you to do. And this is how we're going to work inside this course. So it kind of doesn't matter which language you select here. We can select VB.NET, we can select C-Sharp. Now, I'm going to select that one and click on Next. 
In here, we can define project name. I'm gonna call it maybe, I don't know, PyRavid Forms. In location, let's select the same place where I store my extensions. I'm gonna go to PyRavid Extension EF. Here, I already prepared VPF Forms folder. That's okay. For the framework, we can select 4.8 because this is what Revit used up until Revit 2024. Starting from Revit 2025, it uses .NET Framework, I think 8.0, which is kind of multi-platform compatible. But it doesn't matter either, I think. We're just going to select that one. Now, let's click on Create, and it's going to create a project. All right, it has created this project, and you can see right away, here's your VPF designer. You have this live preview on the top where you have your form. At the moment, there is not much. And then right here on the bottom, you have your XAML code. Ideally, we might want to break it down so you have code on the right, the preview on the left, and that's okay. All right, and now we have your Visual Studio installed, and you can create your VPF application forms with a VPF designer in it. I will take you on a short tour in the next lesson where I'm going to show you around Visual Studio so you get a little bit more familiar before we start coding. And I'm going to see you very soon.